The virtual reality battle is about to begin, but are you on Team PlayStation or Team PC? I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. This year, the Battle Royale and virtual reality game systems will be a clash of three giants. There's Sony's PlayStation VR, Facebook's Oculus Rift, and HTC's Vive. But one of these things are not like the others. Sony finally revealed more details about the PlayStation VR, and here's what you need to know about how the PlayStation is going to differ from other VR systems. Let's start with price. The PlayStation VR will be $400. That's half the cost of the HTC Vive, and it's $200 cheaper than the Oculus Rift. But that starting price for PlayStation VR does not include the $60 PlayStation camera, which is required, nor does it include those glowing motion sensing move controllers, which are $50 a piece, but you can find them online for much less. And add the cost of the PlayStation 4 console and you're looking at a total price tag of around $860 for everything. When you're calculating the price of the more expensive Oculus Rift and Vive, keep in mind you're also going to need to own a top of the line computer with a high-end graphics card, so that's also an investment. And that brings us to quality. With the cheaper PlayStation VR, you're getting slightly lower quality graphics than the others. But if you already own a PS4, it's an easier way for you to dive into virtual gaming. Convenience may also be a deciding factor for you. With the HTC Vive, you have to set up these special cameras all around the room to capture your motion. That may be a hassle for some folks. It will be some time before we get to compare all of them side by side. Oculus Rift is first. It arrives later this month. March 28th, and HTC Vive just a week later, April 5th. But for PlayStation, you have to wait until October. All of these systems are boasting that they will come out with somewhere around 50 games, give or take. But not all games should cost $60 a pop like you pay today for a new release. Oculus says it's going to have a selection of titles that are free, but also some that are $10 or $15. Because how much money do you want to spend on a system that could cause you to get motion sickness? That's it for this Tech News Update, and you can head to CNET.com for more. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.